Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back uh, with a look from a palette that you wouldn't think would give a glowy, warm look like this, but um, it did. And um, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. And I'm playing with um, some different, well, different, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a uh, tinted moisturizer today. So I have the Glow Oil uh, 50 by Supergoop. And then I did go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Um, and this one has hyaluronic acid squalane in it. So usually um, I always think of it as something for um, Mecca or makeup no makeup kind of look is what I usually think of this one for but I wanted to play with it because it's been getting some attention lately and see if you know maybe it does more than I think that it does and I think it worked out pretty well for this look which turned out to be a lot more juicy than I thought this look was going to turn out but um, as far as what else I did oh, and I'm dropping stuff Okay, yeah, needed that for the video, so I had to go uh, scrounging for that one. Um, but I have the, the MAC bronzer on, and this one is the one in Light Radiant Rosy. And then I did go ahead and use the ColourPop, the Sunset Strip, as far as my actual, um, yeah, blush that I have on today and this is a really pretty one it's really good for layering um, I think this whole the formula for this one or for these make them really good for layering and um, doing like a whole bunch uh, the super I guess what I'm doing is I'm comparing it to the super shock and the super shock is going to give you it's a one and done kind of product this kind of product on the other hand I think anyway they're both from Colourpop is going to be really good for layering um, today I just went ahead and put the uh, Revlon skin lights and 201 daybreak on top of it as far as a highlighter and the elf halo glow in the magic hour so I've actually gone ahead and layered all three of these together to go ahead and get the blush look and I think it turned out really fun um, and this color I just I was a little bit intimidated when I first got it but now that I've played around with it for a while um, yeah it's just a really pretty color so yeah that's the color and like I said I'm liking it quite a lot here so there we go with that and then um, as far as what I have on for the rest of the face, um, <clears throat> I did go ahead and use the Essence Thick and Well. And I used, um, well, hold on just a second. Okay, back and yeah, I did get something in my eye there. I don't think that's ever happened during a video before. So that was kind of weird. And um, I think when we're talking about what I had on the eyebrows, I did go ahead and use the Essence Thick and Wow. And then this is the e.l.f. Uh, Brow Lift. And uh, this has a ton of hold if the soap brows don't really work for you. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia uh, Brow um, and it just it works really well you just need a spoolie to go ahead and um, use it it doesn't come with a spoolie but I have a whole bunch of them in fact I have an elf one right here that I've been using and um, yeah it just applies really well easy to use and it gives you a lot of hold to hold them until you take it out which is really nice and um, then as far as what I did on the eyes and I got the Jewels and Gems palette. This one is from Odin's Eye. It's been out for about six months now. And so really pretty. It's a really cool tone palette. I always, whenever I look at it, I go, yeah, that's, that's what I need for a cool tone look. But today I went ahead and used uh, this. And it's, it's a rose color um, in the crease. And then I went ahead and put this on the inner half of the lid, this pretty gold duochrome. Uh, this silver duochrome I put on the outside of the lid. 
and then this really pretty duochrome, um, I went ahead and put on the inner corner into uh, some of the brow area here. And uh, this palette just has a lot of versatility to it. And I think that's because so many of the Odin's eye shades, you can actually use them as an eyeshadow or as a topper. And the ones that you can use as a topper tend to be multi-chrome. So they tend to work really well. The um, And I'm going ahead and putting some of this in the outer corner. But um, it just... It's a really different formula, and it works a little differently than some of the formulas that I'm really familiar with. So I've been playing with it, trying to figure out what it will do. And yeah, that um, added some of this deep burgundy into the outer corner, and I think it gave it a little bit more depth there. As far as the way that the look actually turned out, um, I did use this Imride eyeliner with it, and it came out more of a burgundy than the red that it kind of looks like. And this way that the look turned out. Really pretty warm duochrome kind of look. And so it's kind of shifty and, you know, you, you lean one way and you get the gold sparkle. You lean another way, you get the silver spark sparkle. So it's a lot of fun that way. And I thought that it just turned out really pretty and very sparkly. Again, I didn't wet the brush. I just used my fingers and I went ahead and used some of the Hard Candy uh, Glow Setting Spray on top of it. So, um, and I think it just activates it enough that you get some of the twinkles, but you don't get the boom kind of twinkle. And um, I went ahead and used the Baby Gloss and uh, this one is in Wonder. And that's all I have on there. Baby Gloss is by Relove Revolution. You can find it in Walmart. Everything's $5 and under. So it's um, so we have some really, really affordable makeup on and then some higher-end makeup on. And, um, yeah, I'm really liking this look a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. And um, it's very, very sparkly, but it's a warm kind of sparkle, and I think as far as the office, it probably would be pretty appropriate. Um, I know some offices, you know, don't really want you showing up in, you know, the makeup that you would um, <clears throat> reserve for a night out. So, uh, yeah, this one I think turned out really fun and really pretty, and I'm really happy with the way that the look turned out. The fun thing with a really well done palettes is that, you know, there's going to be a theme. There's going to be uh, a whole, you know, um, a whole theme to it, a whole arc to it. But um, if you start breaking down the shadows individually into their, you know, color groupings, because basically I use the ray the rose and the burgundy for my mattes today and that gave everything a warm feeling to it so um and you when you first look at this palette you don't really think warm but uh there are a couple warm shades hiding in here and they're just uh fun to play with and that's one of the fun things about getting a palette that has a lot of colors in it versus something that only has five pans or six pans in it that you have enough that you can find those hidden looks in there and that's one of the real joys of getting a new makeup palette to me so um, I hope that you're having a great new year and I'll see you later and have a great day bye